Is that, is that camera properly focused on me? Day one. And this is the expert reporter Chase Woolcroft and my professional film crew. Thank you. And we're here to make our first investigative report regarding the Grenfell Tower incident, which is due its third anniversary, yet no resolution in sight. I've done some research and investigations in the matter, and we've lined up a few interviews with those directly related to the incident. Hopefully through them, we can finally put this mystery to rest. Are we, are we rolling? So, if you could please introduce yourself for the camera, please, Miss... Hope Dawson. And your relationship to the Greenfield Tower incident? I had family there. Had? Yes, had. Can you tell us what's happened to your family? They were reduced to cinders. Let's see. Was this confirmed? Seeing how Grenfell became a matchstick for all of London to see, and how my brother's body and his newborn's body was never found. Yeah! Very right. And what do you believe the government should be doing regarding the tower? <laughs> yeah, really? It's been, what, three years? The tower's still standing. The money we raised has disappeared. What makes you think they even give a damn? That doesn't answer the question, miss. That doesn't need to. Because at the end of the day, some questions don't have answers. The government doesn't care. Period. Hell, if I were you, I'll just abandon this whole stupid project. Because nothing you do or say will change the fact that what happened to Grenfell, it happened. You won't be able to give me any sort of comfort or whatever. Some things are just better off left alone. We shall see. Are we upon this? Day two of our investigation into Grenfell Tower incident. Some of the interviews we've had have been far less pleasant in person than they've been over messages sent in the interview up. And they've been increasingly worrying and disturbing to both me and the crew. We've become increasingly more rattled by the topic as time has gone on. I, however, will remain resolute. I will find an answer to this. Please state your name for the camera, please, Miss. Miss Cassie. Miss Cassie. And can you please state your relationship with the Grenfell Tower disaster? Why the name of this? Ignore. I need to make sure all the information is verified. I feel like I'm saying that, but I just know that you're telling me I don't need to share that information. Okay. Now, can you provide them a location of the tower that? follow up on and he's actually called me to arrange meeting points so I'll be going there tomorrow hopefully all goes well and get rid of this feeling like I'm being followed of recent 
with all that all the threats that I've been seeing and just folly. <sighs> anyway, best of luck to me. Ah, hello there. This is the uh, I've been expecting you, Mr. Walcroft. Ah, I'm sorry to have kept waiting, but that didn't really My introduction is not needed. What is needed is for you to stop this investigation to Grenfell Tower. What? Why? I'm so close to... No more questions. If you don't comply, Grenfell the only accident you'll be late to. Is that a threat? It's a promise. This is recorded evidence! Uh, Jacob? You there? Yes, Chase. We can... Huh? Someone's after you. Huh, that's funny. Stop joking around, why are you even so paranoid? Yeah, I'm editing it right now. <sighs> Nothing's gonna happen to you, but if it does, I'll finish editing it and I'll post it for you. Yeah, I understand that, but... Alright. Alright, bye and be safe. Talk to you soon. Bye. I've been following this guy for who knows how long and I know he's potentially dangerous, potentially a murderer I've been dealing with, but everything I've caught up to this point and been backed up, he's been sent to a friend and this is being live streamed. If anything happens to me, everyone's gonna know. And Stop! Please! <laughs> 